Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. A very, very happy new year to everyone. And I'm uh, doing this video to give a little bit more information about uh, the day trading signals. Now yesterday, which was the first day of the market open for the year 2019, was a very strange day in the markets. And in the pre-market, the S&P was down about 40 points. So this is the pre-market hours right here. And the market actually opened uh, at 9.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern time right here. And then it closed at uh, 4, uh, 4 p.m. right here. So this is this kind of action right here was all the regular market hour action. And all of this was the pre-market. Now in the pre-market, the ES futures had gone down to about 24.52. And then it was slowly making its way up as we approached the open. Yeah, there was a dip here. But once again, before the open, it, it started making a, uh, making its way up. So for most of this time, uh, the ES showed uh, very bearish on the market watch uh, on the list. Uh, as for the algorithm, I'm talking about this column right here. It was uh, showing very bearish. But then a strange thing happened as soon as the markets opened. And um, as soon as it opened, right from the open, the S&P just shot out. And so very soon on this uh, uh, market watch watch list, it went from very bearish to bearish to neutral to bullish and then very bullish. And so it remained bullish for almost uh, half the trading day all the way till here. It was it remained uh, uh, bullish or very bullish. And so and, and that sentiment changed over here. I was watching Amazon during this time because Amazon also opened about $30 down. And then let's we'll take a look at the Amazon chart a little later. But I didn't take a trade because I was wondering how to interpret this. And uh, so because it was very bearish uh, as, as we entered into the market open. But very soon, within about uh, 20 minutes or so, it uh, went, it changed uh, states and went to very bullish. And as you can see, it was a very bullish day in that sense that it started out negative 40 and the S&P actually ended up about uh, three points to the upside. So that was a big turnaround in the markets and all through the S&P remained uh, bullish or very bullish. And so the moral of the story was I had to tweak the algorithm then to not uh, count what happens in the pre-market. And so now the algorithm will just look at the market open and give the sentiment from that point onwards. Because what happens in the pre-market, it, because it really doesn't matter if the S&P starts out 40 points down or 50 points down. That's not the real uh, name of the game. The game is what happens after the market open. And if it's going in a bullish direction, it might still be very negative. But if it's going in a bullish direction, then we want to take bullish trades. And Amazon was a very good example of that. And if, let's take a, the same uh, chart look at, you know, it's almost identical. In the pre-market, Amazon was down. It was doing very bearish. And then from a level of around 1461, as you can see, around 1461, uh, it goes up all the way to 1553. So almost a 100 point uh, difference right there uh, from the open uh, to its high. Now granted it ended out a little lower, that's fine. But my point is this was all bullish on Amazon. And even though Amazon was down 30, very soon, just like the S&P, the algorithms uh, went into very bullish mode and, uh, you know, it, it just remained bullish and very bullish, uh, you know, from that point onward. So uh, basically moral of the story, I think, is uh, we can discount the pre-market uh, action and the algorithm has been tweaked to not uh, count that and only uh, look at what happens after the market opens. So and in that case, it was very accurate signaling because uh, you, even though everything was down, it, the market's internals were clearly moving up uh, to the upside. And so both were giving very bullish signs. Now, I also want to uh, mention one thing because we've launched the day trading signal service. And I want to talk about that in the next slide. The day trading signal service has been launched. And unfortunately, we cannot do it on Udemy. I've checked with the Udemy customer support team and it's not possible to have a subscription model on Udemy. And so this will be on optiontiger.com and I'll show you on the next uh, slide. But what we are looking at is this bit.ly link. It's a bit.ly slash day hyphen signals. The day and the S are capitals and that's important for bit.ly. So that's the bit.ly link. And once you click that bit.ly link, you're going to come to this page where you can sign up. And I'm going to show you that page just now. Once you type in the bit.ly link, bit.ly slash day 
hyphen signals you're going to come to this page and this is the proprietary day trading signals uh, page on optiontiger.com and right now as a launch special we have a 25 percent off and that will be 149 uh, per month and over here you can see it, this is going to be delivered in a webinar format and so the webinar room will be open around 9 15 a.m every market open day and will remain open for the entire trading day until 4 15 p.m eastern time the webinar room url and everything will be inside the course curriculum once you sign up so the bitly link once again is bitly slash day hyphen signals the day and the s are in caps and the service costs $149 a month. And as you can imagine, you can should be able to get two or three day trades at least every day. And the, it's a numbers game at the end of the day. If you get seven or eight trades out of 10 uh, going in your way, it'll easily make up for the two or three losers or the break evens that you might have. And also at 149, I think you can make that up in one trade. So this is going to be a very exciting service and a hopefully a very profitable one for everyone. So I look forward to seeing you inside. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please email us at info at optiontiger.com. And I will be on for the first trade every morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. So I look forward to seeing you there. And if you haven't seen the day trading algorithm in, at work, I'm going to attach that video right now. So you'll have an opportunity to understand how the day trading signal systems work. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the proprietary day trading signals course. As you may have seen some videos before, this is an algorithm based day trading signaling system and it uses multiple parameters and on the next slide we'll see what these parameters are and how these uh, signals are generated. So let's jump into the next slide and let's discuss all the parameters that go into this day trading signaling system. As we know any good day trading system requires a reliable point of entry for your trade. And so what this algorithm does now, this algorithm only works on the think or swim platform. However, you can do your actual trading on any platform that you may have. And so let's talk about this algorithm and all the different parameters that go into it. So we want to choose stocks that are highly correlated with the SPX. And so most of the time you'll be dealing with stocks that are already in the S&P 500 or the Nasdaq 100 and some stocks may be from the Dow Jones industrial average as well. The algorithm takes into consideration different kinds of indicators. So we have the price action indicators where we take a combination of simple moving average as well as the exponential moving average and its crossovers. And then we have the strength of the move, which is the momentum indicator and which is also fed into the algorithm. And finally, you also want to have some element of volume going into uh, this algorithm. And so we use the money flow indicator. We will do some qualitative analysis in terms of trying to filter the best candidates from a list of candidates. So you might have seen these videos before. You'll see a whole bunch of stocks that are very bullish or very bearish, depending on what the sentiment for the day is in the overall markets. But if you have a long list of stocks, then you would want some kind of qualitative analysis to separate the better opportunities from the not so good opportunities. And that's what qualitative analysis is all about. And so you're going to see some new columns here with the put call ratios as well as the sizzle index. And then finally, you'll also see some oscillator analysis. In this case, we use the CCI and you'll find multiple levels of tracking. And so you're going to see stocks that are very bullish. You'll see some stocks that are bullish. You'll see some things that are neutral and you'll see something that are bearish as well as very bearish. Now, the methodology involves going through the algorithm itself and also applying some kind of qualitative analysis. But we have to understand that these are day trading signals. And so these signals may or may not last for a very long time. In many cases, they can produce a very profitable trade in a few minutes. And in some cases, you might have to wait for half an hour, one hour or two hours also. As long as the signals don't deteriorate, I think you can remain in the trade. And then finally, you want to also have some kind of risk management and trade management principles as well that are incorporated into your trading approach. So all of these will be covered in the following videos. So welcome again. Welcome to the very powerful day trading signals course.